At Burt's Bees, we use beeswax in hundreds of our products. For the last 15 years, we've been sourcing beeswax from this region in Tanzania because we are really seeking high quality, pure, natural ingredients. And as we see population growth and urban sprawl, this really leads us out into some very remote locations to find the ingredients. A lot of the beeswax that's sourced around the world is a commodity. And here in Tanzania, we actually have access directly to the individuals who are actually growing, harvesting, and collecting the natural ingredients for Burt's Bees. And so it's a unique opportunity to go direct to the source of the producers of the wax. Kwa majina, mimi naitwa Mashaka Matembele. Naishi kijiji cha Uhindi. Na familia ya watoto watano na mke mmoja. Nimekuwa mbinaji wa asari takriban ya miaka 23. Paka sasa hivi, nina mizinga ya kisasa sabini. Na mizinga ya magogo ile ya kithamani mia mbili na salasini. Shuguli yetu ya mizinga itunaifanyia huko polini gemlizevu. Kuna umbali kama wa kilometaro, baini kutoka hapa kuenda huko. Na huwa tunatembea kwa baisikeli. Kwa kweli, ma maisha ya, ya naboleka kama hauna matatizo mengine. Maana uchumi ukingiriwa na matatizo mfano magonjwa kwa kweli, maisha ya huwa, huwa hayaendi. Maana kila utakachokipata, Kwa kawaida mizinga lazima uizungukie mara tatu kwa mwaka. Mwezi wa tatu tunakwenda huko. Mwezi wa sita tunaenda kuvuna. Na mwezi wa tisa mpaka wa kumi, hapo tunaenda kuvuna. Kwa hiyo tuna Tukishafika kambini basi tunashusha ile mizigo yetu. Baadaye tunaanza kukagua mizinga inayostahili kupakuliwa na isiyo stahili maana mizinga huwa inagawanyika makundi matatu. Mizinga yenye kupakuliwa na mizinga yenye nyuki ambayo haziko tayari kupakuliwa na zingine huwa hazina kabisa. Kisubiri baadaye wataingia nyuki. Tunapokuwa tumepanda na kamba na ufunga ule mzinga kule juu, baadaye tunaushusha tukiwa watu wawili mmoja juu mwingine chini. Yule wa chini atafungua zile kamba, atafungua mzinga. Akisha kuchukua hiyo asali, imesha itengesha kwenye vyombo tofauti tofauti. Naanza kuzibeba sasa taratibu taratibu kuzileta kambini kwa ajili ya kuzi. Baada ya, kui, ya kuichuja hiyo asali, tunatenganisha makapi ya na kitu ambao tunayafanyia tunayachemsha kwenye moto na maji tunatoa nta. Kisha toa hiyo nta linakuwa tayari sasa kwa ajili ya kufanya biashara ya nta. Kwani tukishavuna mazao yetu ya asari na nta tunapeleka sokoni, kishauza tunapata fedha kwa ajili ya kuendesha maisha yetu. Maisha ya watu wanaoishi hapa kijijini yanategemea vitu viwili kitu cha kwanza watu nategemea kilimo na mifugo na kitu cha pili wanategemea mazao yatokanayo na nyuki a lot of the farmers and the producers that we work with have many crops and often the ingredients that are sold into the cosmetics market are higher value to them. So they use the cosmetic ingredient to supplement their subsistence farming. Watu wengi sana tumekuwa tunafanya hii kazi tumeilisi kutoka kwa wazazi wetu. Na sisi tunawarithisha watoto wetu what we want to do with our sourcing partners is develop long-term relationships so that we can learn about the harvesting or the growing conditions, challenges that they're facing with the crops, how are the prices, these types of things. Kwa hiyo mizinga inakuwa ni msaada sana katika maisha yetu ya kila siku. Tunaitegemea hiyo kama daura biashara kwa ajili ya kuwezesha shughuli za uendeshaji wa maisha hapo nyumbani mimi na familia yangu.
We're really trying to build the partnerships that influence and have some small impact in people's lives. It's more than just this ingredient we put in a formula and it goes in a product that goes on the shelf.